Hello and welcome again. We pray that all is well with you and that you are enjoying the blessings that God has given to all of us. It is a time where we uh, come and we look at Scripture to see where there or not we are in compliance with the will of God. It is always our challenge to try to encourage you to uh, just look and see what God has to say about the subject and let God's word be true and every man a liar. And Paul says that in Romans chapter 3, and we must really take that into uh, uh, consideration and not only take it in consideration, but seriously look at what God has said because his word is going to stand in spite of what people say and what they like and what they're doing, God's word is going to stand. I want to try to encourage you to look at uh, what God wants all of us to know, and that is his uh, preachers and his teachers are going to teach the word of God. And Paul says to Timothy in 2 Timothy chapter 4, he says, I charge you, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing in his kingdom. He says in verse 2, preach the word. And that's what we want to encourage you to do today. Just preach the word. Say what God says. Say his words. But I want to challenge us to look at uh, the imposters that are in this world today. Uh, an imposter is someone who uh, claims uh, something but is not really telling you the truth. Claim that they're telling you the truth, but they are really not. That's an imposter, someone who is fake, someone who is not real, uh, someone who's counterfeit. And I want you to know that there are so many people who are counterfeits in this world. And when you really want to know uh, what uh, is counterfeit uh, or not, you have to use the word of God, just like uh, money. If you really want to know whether or not it's real money or not, you have to hold it up to the light or hold it up to the sun. Jesus is the light of the world. And whenever you get ready to do something in religion, hold it up to the sun, hold it up to the light to see whether or not it's genuine, see whether or not it's real, see whether or not it's fake. And so we have to look at the word of God. And I challenge you to hold your faith up against the word of God. I challenge you to hold your belief up against the word of God. Many people are telling you any church will do or any religion will do. Go to the church of your choice. I challenge you, hold that up to the light. Hold that up to the word of God. Does the Bible actually says Go to the church of your choice. Does the Bible say uh, you can get a religion? Does the Bible say pray this prayer and you can be saved? Does the Bible say that? But we have to hold those things up against the light, hold them up against the sun. And I know we're talking about the S-U-N about money, but I'm talking about the S-O-N. Hold it up against God's word. Hold it up against his son to see whether or not these things are true, because there are so many counterfeits. There are so many imposters that it's hard to really look at uh, uh, the truth uh, because they're so close. They are very close, but it's not what God says. Uh, Isaiah says in the long ago in Isaiah chapter 55, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. And we ought to be able to know that, that, that sometimes, or, pro, or Solomon says that, excuse me, and sometimes we look at things and we think that it's like God. Uh, and again, uh, Solomon says, it seems right. It seems like it's right. But we have to really notice, uh, is it the word of God? Is it God himself? And that's Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 12. And notice again, Isaiah does say uh, that my thoughts are not your thoughts and my ways are not your ways. For as high as the heaven are above from the earth, are my thoughts different from your thoughts and my ways different from yours? Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 11. Why not, why not let's just look at what Scripture says and let's just notice that there are imposters, that there are people 
who call themselves preachers, who call themselves teachers, but they are doing their own thing. And just because a person wears a robe and has a cross on his neck and, and has a big Bible in the pulpit and says he's a preacher, that doesn't mean that he's a preacher of Christ. That doesn't mean that he preaches the word of God. We have to know that a man who preaches the word of God will give you book, chapter, and verse. They'll tell you exactly what God says. Listen to what Jesus says, and notice what Jesus says in Matthew chapter 24 and verses number 11. He says, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. There will be many false prophets. There'll be many people who will call themselves preachers of Christ, but they are really not. He says in verse 12, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, shall wax cold. There will be many who don't care about the word of God. They'll do it for some kind of prestige or some kind of power or some kind of position or something that they can take advantage of someone over just to hold that position. Listen to what the Bible also says in Matthew chapter 24 and verses number uh, 23. The Bible says, then if any man shall say unto you, lo, here is Christ or there the Bible says, believe it not. There are many who are saying, I'm Christ, I'm the new Christ. Or they try to recreate Christ, that he brought someone else instead of himself. He's going to come, and he has come rather, and he has done what he said he's going to do. If you look at verse 24 of Matthew 24, the Bible says, For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders inasmuch as if it were possible, they will deceive the very elect. Though you can sit here and read it, and then if that imposter is there, they can come along and say something uh, very similar to what you're reading and bewitch you and fool you and convince you to think and to say what's not written in the word of God. They are just that cunning. So we have to be aware that, that there are imposters. There are people who are out here who claim to be ministers, claim to be teachers, claim to be those who want to say what God says, but they're really not. Listen to what Paul says, and let's notice again, we must say exactly what the word of God says. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verses number um, uh, 12, Paul says, but what I do, he says, I will do that I may cut off occasion from them which desire occasion that wherein they glory, they may be found even as we. Paul says, there are those who claim to be what we are, uh, and that is those who tell you what God says. He said they will try to associate with us so that you won't notice the difference between us. He says in verse number 12 of 2 Corinthians chapter 11, he says, but what I, uh, verse number 13, brother, he says, for such are false apostles. He says, deceitful workers transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. In verse 14 of 2 Corinthians 11, he says, And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. He says in verse 15, he says, Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their work. So again, Paul says they will try to associate with us and they'll try to act as if they are just like us when we preach to you, book, chapter, and verse, when we preach to you the exact words of God, there will be those who will come along and try to pretend that they are doing the same thing, but they're really not. They are imposters. They are counterfeit. They are fake, and we must remember that those who are fake, those who are imposters, those who are counterfeit are not those who come from God. And we need to be able to distinguish the difference from someone who's reading the word of God and giving us exactly what God says, opposed to someone who gives their opinion and their thoughts and their feelings. Can I just close with just sharing this with you? Um, if the Bible says what it says, 
then shouldn't we just do that? Jesus says in Mark 16, 16, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. There, are, there is, it's very simple. Jesus says, either you're going to obey me and be baptized, or you're not going to obey me and be lost. That's simply what he says. And you can go back and read it and read it over and over again. It's still going to say the same thing. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. Either you're going to take the word of God, believe that, accept that, and be saved, or you're not going to accept it, and you're going to be lost. That's simply what God says. And so we can't change that. An imposter will change that. Someone who's a counterfeiter will change that and make you believe something that's not written in the word of God. Let me just tell you, stop imitating those who are doing what they are doing, because it's easy to get caught up in the imitation of things. Uh, you know, we get caught up in, in imitation jewelry and things that are not real. And so, and before you know it, you think you're walking around with a Gucci purse or a Gucci uh, a wallet, a Louis, Louis Vuitton wallet, or uh, you're walking around with fake jewelry on, the imitation stuff. And then when it really uh, is faced with a real challenge like water and the sun being uh, on it and it's uh, in the sun, uh, in the water, and it starts fading and peeling, and then you start wondering, uh, is it real? And you know for sure it's not real. The time is going to come when your faith is going to be challenged. And Jesus says in Matthew chapter 15, he says, let them alone. And verse 14, let them alone. If the blind lead the blind, they both will fall in the ditch. We must tell you now, we must encourage you now, stop following the imposters, stop following those who are fake, and go directly to the word of God. It's easy for you to become an imposter. The story is told about uh, a couple of hunters who went out and they were hunting for monkeys and, and they saw a bunch of monkeys in the trees and the monkeys were sitting in the trees just watching them pull their boots off and putting their boots back on, pull their boots off and putting their boots back on. And after a while, the hunters walked away and uh, the uh, the hunters walked away and the monkeys came down and they put the boots on but they couldn't pull them off uh, because tar was on the inside of the boots and, and the boots were stuck to their, to their legs and to their feet, uh, hand feet. And so they couldn't climb back up into the trees. And so the hunters came and captured all the monkeys that they wanted to catch. So I'm trying to tell you now, uh, stop being an imitator. Just go to the word of God. Stop being in a, following the imposters and just say what God says. And again, the Bible says, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. Let's listen to the word of God. Uh, so let's stop following the imposters. Until the next time, stay safe. That's our prayer to you. God bless you.